Welcome to your daily crypto wrap up where I give you all the day's crypto news in less than three minutes. Yes, I am wearing a backwards beret. It's been that kind of night. Listen, uh, let's get into the Bitcoin price right now. Well, first of all, the overall market cap is coming in at uh, a little over $2 trillion, 2.06. We are still holding on to that $2 trillion level in market cap. Good stuff. We don't want to go below that. Bitcoin sitting at $45,200 right now. It did dip below 45000 earlier to the 44s. Um, but it has gone back above 45000 We will talk about a level it needs to hold or it needs to get above here soon. Uh, top pumpers of the day, all over 8%, about 8 to 11% pumps. We got AVAX, DOT, Elrond, Kusama, Cardano, aka ADA, and HBAR. So let's get to the number one story of the day, the Bitcoin price. This thing is really struggling. We're not seeing a lot of upward momentum, but we're not seeing a lot of downward momentum either. Uh, we are seeing the bears dig in, uh, wanting Bitcoin to go down to the $38,000 level. Meanwhile, the bulls need the price to get above $45,500 in order to continue back upwards in bullish momentum. So there was a golden cross. This is where the 200-day and the 50-day moving average uh, cross. This usually means the price will go up significantly. It was about to print a few days ago. We had this dramatic fall. And now it is nowhere in sight. But I would warn you guys about that. The last time we had a golden cross, I feel like golden crosses and uh, death crosses are the most overblown thing in all of crypto. The last time we had a golden cross was right before the May dump. So I actually don't think it's a super negative thing that we haven't seen it. Uh, number two story of the day, we have Pantera Capital, the biggest blockchain fund, currently over $4 billion in assets under management. They just did an extra $369 million raise to fill their war chests to get ready to do more crypto spending to spread across crypto projects everywhere. Um, I talked about Andreessen Horowitz earlier today in a video. You can go check that video out. Uh, but they are also one of the top funds and former CFTC uh, director or employee member or whatever you call Brian Kintens. He just went to work for... Andreessen and Horowitz's crypto fund, uh, A16Z, I think it's called. Number three, we have ETF news. ARK Invest, Kathy Wood's company, they are now looking at ways to invest into crypto ETFs in Canada because they're taking too long here in the United States to get going. So you guys, let me know what you think about these stories. Drop your comments down below. How did it you guys with the late night news? That's all I got. Be blessed. The boy out. Also, don't judge me for the brain.